couple of the housings. Pick up a couple of the bearings. What else do we need? And the Duke don't pull me over doing this. I think we'll do it ourselves. I don't need a chain separator. All right, the gears are 40, so we get some different chain. So we need a couple gears, a couple bodies. All right, some DA40 chain. There we go. Got some parts that we've kind of cobbled together. We've had to buy a few things. So let me show you what we got and what the plan is. Then when we're all done, we'll see how many paws Duke rates this project. All right, so we had found a, a really cheap DC motor control drive. So if there's parts of this video we didn't go into great detail about, make sure you leave me a comment. I'll get it answered for you. tighten these housings so I'm have to sand this housing just a little bit all right so I had to take a little bit out of it but it, you know these things should float so I put a little anti-seize in it just so it lubes but it should spherically move for you it doesn't have to be super accurate I think this has to somewhat line up and that's the joy of those bearings is it they'll take up any misalignment you have. Transfer punch. So let's see how this thing goes together. Now we'll get the shaft. Now for some reason, inch and a half tube is tight in here, so I'm gonna have to polish down a piece of inch and a half. Stock tube just doesn't just fit inside these bearings. Obviously, we'll have to trim the bolts up so that it doesn't hit the screws. All right, so now I got to make a plate. This will go here. The lower gear will be on here. So I might have to add some slop to make sure that the chain isn't twisted. But pretty much, that's it. That's where it's going to end up being. All right, so we got get the two gears on there. So then what we'll do is we'll, I gotta tack the gears on. That way the gearing is all lower. Important part of this whole thing, the chain. Now, I don't have a chain press, so we're gonna have to kind of do this a little old school. Have. Let's see if it drags now. We gotta be able to ground it. So we are gonna use this braided copper. Let's 
So what we'll do is we'll just mark this. So we got the little plate made. It actually turned out fairly well just for a hand, you know, just for hand grinding it. Yeah, came out fairly round. What I'll do is I'll use a scribe line and we'll tack this in place. Tap. All right, so I only piloted those holes with the smaller drill because it'll pick up the center point better and then it'll take the larger drill real easy. So when you get your readout, if it's showing, let's say, 30, it's actually off 15 one side, 15 the other. Okay, Duke, how many paws do you give this project? Okay, so you've seen it. Duke gave that two paws. So it's something you can easily do in your garage as well. You just got to round up the parts. They're fairly easy. And then, if you need any help welding, I'll see you in this video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share.